Hello commanders to part 2 of the South African series. Today's episode is going to be Cape Town is under assault. Yes, like expected, Namibia is going to make an attempt on our capital, but let's watch today's episode and see what is going to happen. But here, this is the Battle of Gaboroni, the capital of Botswana. Namibia and South Africa both are fighting to take this city. Uh, actually, Namibia is trying to push off my troops from there and push directly to my homeland cities. I would do the same, by the way. I would never go to... Uh, someone's capital or homeland cities while I leave his troops behind me. That is not wise and not good in conflict of nations. So, I try to uh, step in Gavaroni at least to inflict as much damage at, uh, as much damage as possible for him because I benefit of the um, defense bonus inside the city. This is why I try to stay there and keep my artillery firing from distance. At the same time, I'm trying to make a stand in the city of Johannesburg. Uh, of course, uh, I bet that Namibia, after taking that city, he will head directly through all of my homeland cities to try to corrupt my uh, resources production, my troops production, and break down all of my infrastructures. So I will try to expect what he is going to try to do. This is why I will make a stand in the closest homeland city to Gaboroni, which is going to be Johannesburg. I have recon division and three infantries there. They will be enough to stop his um, uh, uh, recon division from advancing. At the same time, I'm going to leave around three or four motorized infantries in my capital, Cape Town. Because Namibia has access to water, my capital is coastal, so he might go uh, through his coastal city and come from my back directly, disembark into my homeland city and uh, disembark in my capital. I do not want that to happen. I am ready to lose any other homeland city but not my capital because you know the damage that is going to inflict us. So he took down my defenses in the city of Gaboroni. Uh, Gaboroni now is Namibian and now he is advancing. But where he is advancing? In which direction? I need to know that. Here I am uh, patrolling his capital in Hoke. And look at that, his infantry they are on the move. Where they are going, actually. Okay, I'm going to bring up my fighter above his recon division to be able to see in which direction he is going to head. Maybe Johannesburg, maybe Bloemfontein, and maybe directly Cape Town. In all of these cases, I need to uh, decide in which direction I'm going to wait for him. Because I do not want him to roam my homeland cities like that without defenses and I do not want to keep chasing him from behind. I need to be in front of him to stop him from advancing from this third recon division of one recon and three infantry. My eighth recon division is composed of four infantry and one recon. So I have the numbers on him. For now, I do not know what kind of defenses he has in his homeland cities. Look at that. My infantry is breaking through, but looks like Namibia is waiting for me. He's waiting for me in the desert. I'm going to choose another route because I only have level 1 motorized infantry. I'm not going to be able to kill him there. Uh, my level 2 airbase is, um, is going to be ready soon, but not soon enough because I want it now to be able to start uh, the production of the strike fighters. Of course, if I possess strike fighters now, it's going to be good for me. I'm going to wipe out Namibia uh, in no time, but without them, I am going to struggle. I am going to struggle so far, so much. Okay, so I changed uh, the direction. I'm not going to wait for him in Johannesburg. I went directly to Bloemfontein because uh, Namibia uh, kept moving to the west. He did not come south, so uh, I do not see Johannesburg as um, a threatened city. Here he is, look at that, he is trying to move from behind me and directly go to my capital. Well, we can judge that Namibia is super active. He is an active player and he is moving carefully. And he keeps on defending at the same time while he is attacking. That is actually good. You remember in the first episode when I showed you his rank, he is a beginner. He is a beginner, a total beginner. But from where I see it, how he is moving, how he is splitting his infantry and keeping the defense inside his provinces, Namibia is not a beginner. He is so far from being a beginner. 
he knows what he is doing. So 100% he is an experienced player with a new account. That is the only explanation I'm going to get from uh, this. Because you will keep seeing what is going to happen in this battle between South Africa and Namibia. And you will understand, you will totally understand that Namibia is not a noob, is not a beginner. Let's check the city of Gaborgoni if there are any defenses there. <laughs> This is his capital, Windhoek. He built army bases, arms industries, recruiting officers. So 100% he will be spamming uh, motorized infantry as well. He left an infantry there in the city of Gaborone to stabilize it from uh, insurgency. Okay, I will keep uh, searching for the weakened division because that is my target actually. I need to locate it and see it where it is going. Namibia is going straight to my capital with one motorized infantry. Luckily, I have defenses here. Four motorized infantry, they are waiting in the capital. I will keep, um, I will keep patrolling over these provinces one by one in order to locate his recon division. Okay, um, in Bloemfontein here, I do not, I do not have an idea if he is coming uh, to this direction. If he is not, I will try to attempt a counterattack on him. But first, I need to contain him. I need to at least know where he is going for me to wait for him. Because from where I see it now, uh, uh, Namibia is keeping on changing his uh, uh, his uh, path. His path. Every time he does not have one single path, you understand? All the time he goes straight and later he changes his direction to the left and after he goes into another direction he wants to confuse me. Okay, let's see if he is in this province. You see, this is a 10 speed game. Fighter is moving too fast. Like, I. I do not have to edit this video and cut out any kind of details because the game is already so fast that I need to show you all the footages. All the footages here because this is a real uh, speed of the game which is uh, 10 times, 10 times the normal speed. Uh, one day, one real day, 24 hours, it is going to finish in only 2 hours and 40 minutes. Okay, there is, um, yeah, there is a hard target here because of fighter. The radar's fighter can only see hard targets, so 100% that is going to be the weaker division. If it is infantry, my fighters they are not going to be able to locate them. And yep, finally we located the Namibian weaker division. Looks like he is targeting my capital. Well, I'm, it's not it's not the time yet for the uh, counter attack. I do not want him to go around my homeland cities. I need to be I need to be secured. I need to play it smartly and patiently because I know for a fact that Namibia is going to be a headache for me. He is going to be a headache early game and I am going to lose a lot of time chasing him, a lot of time to take him down and that is going to make me in a disadvantage in this game because why? You know in a 10 speed game whenever you are fast, claiming land fast, you will be having faster resources production and that equals more units, more armies, and more chances to win this game. So, for us having uh, an annoying neighbor, very active and annoying neighbor early game, is not good for us. Is not good for us. Okay, so confirmed his one infantry is heading straight to Cape Town, but with his recon, I have no idea where is it going. I'm uh, now on the process of the counter-offensive, trying to go through all of his homeland cities. Thank you guys for watching part 2 of the South African series. Let's meet in the next episode. See you guys and bye bye.